Happy Friday! It's the weekend chat, let's go! Um, not feeling a lot better today, so heck yeah. I only had mild throat pain today. Doesn't hurt really to talk, let's go! I guess, uh... Ending stream early last night was the play. Get an extra rest. Let's see, let's see. Welcome in Jake, congrats on first today! Welcome in X2! Welcome in Cirrus! Uh, welcome in Whoopi! Welcome in Unstable! Welcome in uh, Angeline! Hello, hello! Welcome in New Day! Welcome in Yamamoto! Welcome in Degree! Hope you're all having a wonderful Friday! Hello, hello! Chicken Nuggets again! Alright, so we are playing Baladins today! We played the demo, I think a, couple, a, a few months ago? I think we played the demo a few months ago for Steam Next Fest, and I really liked it. It was very D and D core. Uh, lots of like having to think really hard about your stats and what to um, uh, what to train and stuff to get uh, side jobs done. So it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. We're gonna start a new game because it's been a few months. I don't I don't remember what we were doing in the demo. Um, but it did save our, our demo progress, but I think we're gonna start a new one. Yeah, this game came out on Wednesday. I've been so excited to try it, so let's get to it, chat. Wow. I also need to adjust the audio. It's a little quiet, in my opinion. Paladins, like paladins, but not quite as good. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You can turn the audio up just a, a skosh. Oh yeah, listen to that chat. Ooh, yeah. Music I could dance to, heck yeah. Oh, Yamamoto, thank you so much for the third stream watch streak. Um, we'll leave it like that for now. Is that, is that good chat? I think all of this is good. Tech speed, zoom that stuff as always. Oh, blur off. Uh, sounds perfect as always. Okay, okay. I thought it was Bard plus Paladins. Paladins? Nope. Um. I don't know what that means. We're just gonna leave that alone. Uh, blur off. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, good, good saying that. Yamamoto, thank you, thank you. Blur bad. Blur bad. Screen shake? I don't know how I... I'm gonna turn the screen shake down too. Griffin's my favorite streamer. Oh, I think he's the witch whoopee. I appreciate it. I'm a bit allergic to blur. It really depends on how strong the blur is. But they have a checkbox. So we're just gonna turn that off. And I turned screen shake down to like halfway-ish. Uh, suggestion? Oh, okay. I was like... Suggestion? What is that? What does suggestion mean? Oh, screen shake can be okay if it's done well, but it usually isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I... think we're good. Oh, <gasps> join an online game! I forgot you can... you can do this game online. So one second, I'm gonna make it so you guys can see my... my mouse -a Whoa, there's a car starting now! Let's go. <laughs> um, how do I start a new game? New I'm loading a new campaign. Oh, that's right, chat. Okay. I don't remember what we picked the first time. So we got a bard. Uh one strength, eight. Uh eight of that. Two, I think that's intelligence. I that one, ooh, or is that wisdom and that's intelligence? I don't know. And then I, uh, magic and uh, money. <laughs> My best guesses. Okay, they all start out with seemingly ten money. So we have a bard. We have a pyro. Money luck. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, so the bard 
if if this one's magic, this bard has zero ma magic, and this one has eight magic, so that kind of kind of makes sense because he's a pyro. And then there's a cook. There's a dancer. A luxomancer. I don't even know what that is. Very big brain though. Okay. Five classes, I think we're going to be... Ooh, that's a tough one shot. I'm stuck between Cook and... Lux equals land for light. Hmm. Maybe, uh... Their, their hair does kind of look like a light bulb up here a little bit. At least to me. I'm between Bard, Pyro, and Cook. I think we're gonna go Cook chat. I don't know what Mo Moliac is though. So, ready! You can invite your friends to him. I'm, I'm hovering over the button, but down here in the, the corner, you can invite your friends! It's a multiplayer game too! Maybe, maybe girl gang uh, paladins one day. No, <laughs> you never underestimate the cook, heck yeah. My dear paladins, these last two months of leisure were quite invigorating, but holiday's over now. Peace festival's in six weeks and we're far from ready. We still have work to do to make the celebration of the century truly perfect. Uh, people count on our girl to make it happen, whatever the cost, so I put my trust in you with this great quest. Deliver this crate to the next village. Yeah, that's it. Obtained a crate. Actually, one more thing. We still haven't received the wine for the festival. Could you check out the winemaker's castle and get the wine we need? Something must have upset the winemakers again. Are you ready, Baladins? Oh wait, um We're not strong. And we don't really have okay, 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 okay. We can hover over these now. Uh that's physique. Finesse. Knowledge. Oh, that one's creation, okay. Uh, destruction and gold. Oh, so it is money! It is money. Welcome in Slavino! Good to see you! So we have eight creation, two physique, one knowledge, two destruction, and ten gold. My bad? I would have thought it was luck too. I'm surprised they don't have a, a luck one. Uh, I'm not gonna hit either of these. Both of these are, are two for me. Uh, Roar. Wait, chose without even knowing what you're doing, right? No, I knew what I was doing. This is a choice, and choices often test your characteristics. So how's your luck? This is a role-playing game after all. Roll three six-sided dice, 3d6, and the result is added to your characteristics value to be a difficulty initial. Roll an 11 plus 2 destruction. Working by here to support the teacup, all things so much unstable. I hope work goes well. Thank, thank you, I appreciate it. There's several difficulty thre thresholds. Some actions are easier than others. The easiest difficulty threshold is strength, and the medium one... Uh, strength 8, medium is 11 strength, and the hardest is 18. Okay, so 8, 11, 18. That's such a big, uh... Big jump from 11 to 18. But 8 to 11 is not bad. It's my first day! Oh my god, I hope you have a wonderful first day! It's so exciting! It's easier to beat the difficulty threshold with a high characteristic value. Oh, and when you're with friends... <clears throat> excuse me, chat. Characteristics values add up. Union makes strength. Okay, so more friends makes game easier, chat. You roar like a troop of lions. Oh. Uh, something. I'll be right here. Something, something, something. Be safe on your journey, dear paladins. Well, it's not like anything dangerous ever happens anyway. Thank you. Have a good stream. I'll be listening in the background. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let's hit the road. Moving from one token to the next costs one movement point or MP. Fortunately, you have enough to reach your destination over there this time. To move, simply select your token. Okay, grab us. Oh, wait, we go here. Move. Takes two movement spots. We're out of movement spots. Oh, Mulaik! Okay, so that's the city name. I see, I see. So... 
we can chat with so Sophaline. Fellow paladins, I was waiting for you. Did you bring the crate? There's still so many things to do. Hello, Zo. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Give something to someone. Select the item you want to have. You can change your mind and get it back by selecting it again until you press the convert button, that is. Boop. Passive effect. Movement points minus one. You take that crate. What? What's going on? <gasps> ah! What have you done? Oh my god, it's terrible. We can't have the festival with the guys in the middle of town. Uh, really quick. I feel like the audio isn't loud enough still, chat. I'm gonna turn it up just a skosh again. Let's try this. Also, wait. What was this? Oh, quest log! Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Think, think, think. No. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Paladins. It's our fault. I think. We need to find a way to fix it. I know. Bungus the cork maker might be able to help. They grow cork mushrooms that are being used as wine caps. Maybe they can grow a big one? Go northwest from here and check the cork forest to go find them. Here, take this. This might be helpful. Obtained a truce juice. I'll be uh, watching the guys are here. Check if anything goes wrong or worse. Sophaline's idea is great, but you're all out of MP. Don't worry, there are plenty of things to do in Malak to prepare for your journey. This is where your action points will come in handy. Make sure to keep an eye on them since each action costs a point. First tab is where you can meet the people staying in this place. Second is the practice tab. Last is for challenges. Use your time in Malak to explore these options and I'll tell you more along the way. Alright. I've seen something will guarantee that you upgrade one characteristic by one point. For example, here in Malak, you can upgrade your creation skill by cooking or your finesse skill by observing the merchants. I think we need to do, um... Finesse, since our finesse is at zero. Spent the day at the market and observed the merchants. You learned some useful tricks. Gained a finesse. Uh, challenges. Challenges test your characteristics with a dice roll. The outcome is uncertain, but the reward is greater and sometimes unexpected. You'll have to prove your finesse in a card game to gain your reward. Yeah, we just have one finesse. Let's go back and get another finesse. Your cooking's already at 8, so... Hmm... Let's go. Maybe we'll try to play cards? Spend the night playing cards in the tavern. 14! Let's go! Luck shines upon you and you're quite skillful at the game. You win big and know when to stop playing. You gain two finesse! Let's go! And a gold. When you're out of AP and MP, it's time to end your turn. You can also do it at any moment from the board if you want to. And turn. Here's your quest log. It'll be updated every time a quest progress, uh, progresses to remind you of the next steps to take. So... Cork maker. We need to go see the cork maker. All right. So, Clark Forest, move right here. We're approached by a Luton smelling surprisingly good. Good day to you, traveler. What a pleasant sight for the eyes you are. May I offer to walk with you to your destination? Hello, D10. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Sure, you can walk with us. Splendid. I knew the teaching of Master Bungus would help me to seduce people. They have recently found an ancient scroll of love containing much wisdom about the art of seduction. The Luton spends the rest of the journey talking about their Master Bungus. Perhaps you could visit them in the Clark Forest to learn about this ancient scroll. So here it is creation and knowledge. We might want to go pick mushrooms for knowledge. Chat. Camp. Camp is strength. 
First, let's talk to Bungus. Bonjour, my friend. Who brings you to our humble forest? Ask about wine caps? I have a very big wine cap. Big enough for a geyser. I don't. Maybe nature can grow one? Go to the hidden cave north of here, in the hills. You shall find some magic water in there. But be careful, you never know who's been drinking from the spring. Ask for love advice. Love advice? Am I starting to go on our reputation? Oh, I have indeed something. I had some theory. Um, but something's not quite right with me. I think my inner balance is off. You know what? Bring me something truly cleansing. Pure and noble food for my body and soul. Nothing less than royal jelly directly from the hive. Now I'll give you the scroll as a reward. Okay. Uh, ask about the place? This is the Quirk Forest and I'm Bungus. Here our community grows wine caps, small quirk mushrooms used to seal bottles and casks of wine. We take care of mushrooms, but also of our body and soul. Um, that's a big check right there, chat. Let's leave. Hmm. Let's, uh, uh, <laughs> oh no. Hmm. <laughs> Turn this into at least a two. Yippaloons pick mushrooms. Working in nature gives you a better understanding of the forest. You gain knowledge and a gold. Heck yeah. Let's go try to camp, chat. Camping in the forest can be challenging for the body. Come on, please. Oh, I think we just barely did it. You rolled a nine plus two. You've managed to find a good spot to build your tent and a warm fire. In the morning, you feel fully rested. Oh, heck yeah, we just barely, we just barely got it, Chad. Oh my god. Even one less than we would have failed. So good job. We got four physique now. Mm, do we want to do that again? Because we do need more physique. Um, yeah, let's camp again. Oh, heck yeah, bigger number. Two more physique, okay. And we're all out of stuff. So, hmm, end turn. Maybe? Or, no, 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 no. We go up to the cave really quick, because this is where we need to go, because we still have movement points. And then we end turn, I think. Thank you so much, though, for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you. So we have intelligence, or we have knowledge, and we have strength. And destruction. And we also have this. But I think first we need to... Uh, let's try this really quick. Find a tunnel for, full of beautiful stalactites and stalagmites. Too tempting, you just want to break some. Oh no! Rolled an eight. You push hard, harder, harder. But it's not working, you can't break anything. Ah, we failed, chat. We failed. Read writings. The quarter is covered with ancient carvings. Ciphering them is colossal work, but you learn a lot about old times. You gain a knowledge. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Darn, Jesus is a cruel master that they are. Uh. Read writings again. And then look for magic water. Explore the cave. There's something strangely soothing permeating the air. Stumble upon a giant salamander. 
There's magic pond right behind the beast. Oh, it's a big check, chat. Really big check. Okay, uh, oh, neither of these are good. That's a four, that's a two. All right, we're gonna try the four. We're gonna try finesse. No! You rolled a 10 plus 4, you try to sneak around, but the quarter is narrower than you think. Salamander turned towards you with the two shiny eyes. Too close. You feel awkward. Cry at least light away from Salamander and leave the cave. As soon as you don't quite meet the requirements for this task yet, don't worry. You can train at different locations on the board. Better characteristics, you'll have a better chance to beat this obstacle. You can also convince a friend to join and give a hand. Dang it, chat. So we need finesse or destruction. So, hmm. Where can we learn these? Acha? I don't think we could learn these here. Uh, where can I learn finesse? Here, maybe? I think it was here in town where we could learn finesse. You hear horrible noises ahead. It could be a terrible monster. As you approach carefully, you realize it's only an ogre city singing cheerfully. Hello there, what a beautiful day. I'm Tonaline Bertiga, winemaker and matriarch of the castle, but surely you know me already. Would you like to sing with me? Sing. We did it. We rolled an eight plus eight. Oh, heck yeah. <clears throat> sing along with Ogris and manage to stay in tune. Ha, ah, you sing better than I do. Your voice is still the second most beautiful thing I've witnessed today. She's delivered wine to Philomena the innkeeper. I don't know why, but I'm always happy to see her. She's merely human, but she can drink gallons of any beverage. I'm impressed. It's impressive. Surely there must be some kind of magic behind all that. But it's part of her charm. Pay a visit. Pay her a visit, Gamoliak, if you want to meet a beautiful, kind person. We need to get rid of an outstanding amount of liquid. And turn. This is going to be really good as long as we get the rolls. Because this gives us two each time. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Moliat. May I help you? Ask about drinking the geyser. Me? Drink all the water of the geyser? Ugh, I hate that reputation. I'm not that much of a heavy drinker. How would I do that? It's not such a big deal. Look, what about a bet? If you can drink more than me, I'll help you. Philomena fills two barrels with ale. Managed to empty her barrel within a few seconds. Even an ogre would struggle drinking this much. We're gonna fail, chat. We need a 12. Oh, that's not a 12. Lifts the barrel from the ground, spill gallons of ale on your head. Now you're supposed to drink it, right? The direct contact with the ale makes you more resistant to alcohol. You gained one physique. Come back when you're in better shape. Oh, okay. Well, that sucked, chat. Play some more cards so we can be sneaky sneaky. Now we have 10 finesse. Don't bother you're trying to get finesse and become a ninja? Exactly. Let's move all the way back up here. And then end turn so we can get the cork.
eat an eight. I said an eight. There we go. Sneak around the salamander and manage to collect some magic water. In the depth of the pond, you see dozens of yellow eyes staring at you. Tentacles shoot out of the water. You and the salamander shriek in horror and escape the cave. It's not a good idea to go back in there. Who knows what eldritch creatures lurking in the dark. Got magic water. Come across a giant salamander. It looks familiar. It's a great idea to go back in there. There could be more treasure. True. We'll need to like increase our strength a lot though. Oh gosh. Distraction. Ah, we were one off, chat. Find something behind the salamander with a fearful look on your face. The salamander gets scared and starts running in your direction. Run behind it reflexively without knowing why and end up exhausted. No! We lost one, chat. Lost a finesse. Can't believe it. Talk the bungus. Bonjour, my friend. Brings you to our humble forest. Give the water. Strictly forbidden during chess tournaments. Finesse plus three? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Found magic water. Let's try it right, right away. Fungus pours all the water on one wine cap. Mushroom grows and grows. It's enormous. Take it, friend. It should do the trick. Got a big wine cap. And we're gonna cook for Bungus. I'm gonna try to. You think you can reset Bungus's inner balance with your cooking skills? Ten? Oh, yeah, we did it! Gather mushrooms, roots, and fruits to make a perfectly balanced dish. Incredible, friend. I feel like I found balance in your food. At peace. Please take this as a symbol of my gratitude. Love letter. Okay, we leave now, chat. And we go camp. And back, and then we go back to Muliak, and then end our turn, Let's check our quest log real quick. Love Doctor Bungus gave you a love letter, it's from Tonaline to Philomena, one of them would be interested in seeing it. Oh, okay. Beat Philomena at her drinking contest. Bring the giant cork to sell Philomena to stop the geyser. Ask Tonaline for wine, she lives in her castle, okay. Lots to do, chat. Oh, wait. Uh, end turn. Uh-oh. Last week. We gotta fix it, chat. So let's first talk to Philomena. Give her this. Confirm. What is... Oh my god's letter from Tonaline. Listing all my qualities, wonders, and delights. In alphabetical order. Weird annotations in Luden dialect? That's unexpected. I can't. She blushes and disappears into a room behind the counter. You've never seen the innkeeper so bothered. It seems that Tonaline the winemaker is in love with Philomena. The innkeeper surely has feelings for her too. She talked about it with Tonaline. Okay. Uh, hello? I still had things to talk to you about, lady. Hmm, oh, that's you. Brings you here again, Baladin. Bring the geyser. The exchange inside my account. Oh, can't find the geyser anymore. It happens when I get too much attention. I'm so sorry. I'll have to find a little. Oh, screw you, lady. Action potion. Lux by salt. Movement. Uh. Salt. Back. Leave. Okay. 
This is your character sheet. You can find all your characteristics here. This is every item you carry. Select one to have more details. Sometimes you'll also find items that don't affect you when you carry them. Consuming them might have an effect on you. Always go to keep a snag or two to help you handle a tr tricky situation. Consume an item, simply select it in the window. Effects gained when consuming, it will last till the end of your turn. You help them find true love, but lost the way to fix the geyser. Couldn't, can't believe it. I, I jinxed myself. No one knows how, but it brings good luck. This flask lies the treasure of Mercazon. Goats love it. Uh, gives travelers motivation to keep going. Helps you get done during your week. Wandering the world with a bag full of stuff might affect you in an either good or bad way. Most of the items you'll carry through your adventure will have an effect on you simply by being in your bag. If someone gives you something, don't forget to check out how the item may affect you. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know now, game. So we got the, the first ending. The second ending, I assume she uh, drinks the geyser. Okay, so we need to go to Sophaline. All right. How's it going, Baladin? Have you found a workaround yet? Terribly worried the festival can't take place like this. Hello, Grinter. Welcome and welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Who's the DM? Uh, narrator, I assume? Try blocking the water. Oh, no. We don't block the water with our hands. Silly, silly. Give them the big wine cap. Whoa, that might work. Chart right away. Sophaline puts a giant wine cap in the well and manages to seal the geyser inside. Only for a few seconds. Dang it, cha. Well, that's not it. Hope we can find something else. <laughs> Try blocking the water with your hands. Try to get close to the geyser, but the pressure's too powerful and you're thrown in the air. It's hopeless. We need to find another way. Well... That's all I can do, chat. Tried my best. Let's go see... Tonaline. In her castle. Trample grapes. Trade fine wines. Taste old vintages. Okay. Talk to Tonaline. Why are you bothering me, Baladin? I'm gonna ask for the wine first. A stooge of Alda, right? This old bird wants to take credit for the festival. Again, people love her because she's so great. I will be forgotten. Again, you have to provide all the wine for the party. Well, you tell Alda something. I'll give her the wine if this year's festival is called the Tonaline Festival. People need to know this party can only happen because of me. Hurry up, the wine won't wait. Well, actually... Yes, I'm in love with her. Is it a crime? I like resourceful women. How do you know? You gave what? My letter? By the gods, what have you done? I wrote that letter to tell her how I feel, but... Never had the guts to send it. I felt like it wasn't the best way to express my feelings. You ruined everything by giving her my letter. It was only a draft. I can't tell her how I feel now. I'll look stupid. Ugh. Hello, hug! Welcome in, welcome in! Also, welcome in, Vogon! Oh Hope you're both having a wonderful day. Uh, not that one. Um, it was only a draft! <laughs> it said to give it to one of them, it didn't say which one! It didn't even say who it, who it was to and who it was from, it just said, um, I don't think anyway. Hmm. Uh... No, she's calling the cab. No! Alright, so we have four of this. We have eight of that. So the poem can only work. So... Poem or courage? But the courage, I think, might be an item thing. Just because of that, uh, that symbol, I don't know. Poem. Tell a poem about the wonders of love and the inner beauty of Tonaline. Oh, 
Rule on 11. Paladin, your words, I can feel them. Love, love can't wait. I need to go talk to Philomena. Bye, Textia. Why wouldn't she like me? All right, Paladin, let's do this. On my way to Moliac. The winemaker leaves her castle at once, leaving the door open. But... The wine. But the wine. She's not here! Who's gonna give us the wine? Oh, I am... I am bungling this all up, chat. Oh my goodness. Who's gonna give us the wine? I can't even make it back to town. Ah, okay. I don't think we're doing this, chat. Small rock managed to somehow slip inside your boot. You can remove it, but unlacing your boots takes forever. Night's falling. Endure the pain. Step on the Lego. Rolled an 11. Brace yourself and finish your daily hike while enduring the pain. Walking through the rock in your shoe, harden your feet. Yay! In turn. It's the big day and the geyser issue has not been solved, but the peace festival is already in full swing. Moliak is already filling with visitors from all over the, uh, all over Gatherak. Can't wait to party. Some clever paladins decide to pretend the theme of this year's festival is celebrating water. Results are mixed to say the least. Suddenly the ground starts shaking once again. Water stops pouring out and a dark mass emerges from the well. Could it be a dragon? Who dares awaken a dragon? Uh-oh. To what do I owe this racket? Think you can wake the mighty Clobra without facing consequences? What is this farce of a banquet you're throwing? Have you forgotten the meaning of the festival? You fools. You and your foolish attempts to keep me down there. Plugging the well with a cork. Futile. Without further warning, the dragon's enormous jaw opens wide. Feel the wind coming from out of your bag and pockets. No, not my items! Ah, I see you brought something to eat. It's not enough. I'll have to eat something more... substantial. Flash of blue, blue light sparks between the teeth of the beast and the world starts spinning! Party Poopers Water Festival Circle! Dear Baladins, these last two months leash are quite invigorating, but... Wait, I already told you that! Oh, I remember now. The Peace Festival, the Dragon, the Warp. Seems we've been transported six weeks back in time. Could have been worse, actually. They didn't need us. But I think we should start investigating the situation. I'll summon you and I need your help, dear Baladins. Is this like a roguelite? Um, I think we're trying to make it so that the festival isn't, um, bad. We're gonna try a bard this time, chat. Start with that hyphen S. <laughs> Belvins, I've summoned you because the situation is dire to say the least. It appears that this blasted dragon sent us back in the past. Upon investigation, I can confirm that only our guild members remember what happened. Hasn't noticed that I, I completely changed characters, changed classes? Yep. I can explain why. We need to investigate further. My calcula calculations are correct. We're six weeks before the dragon returns. Quick, Baladins. Forget about the Peace Festival. We need to warn everyone about the incoming catastrophe. Go to the castle of... Uh, Water Guard and ask for the Great Council. They'll surely know how to help. They have to find a solution. Tell them it's urgent. We are barred. The Great Castle of Hua Wa? Usha where? There's someone in there, chat! Oh no, wait, that's just a bat. Okay, I was like, well. Oh, and there's the lizard! 
Great Castle of Kowa? Hawa Hawa? I don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? What is that? Yes! Okay, this is the way we need to go. My favorite, uh, roguelite D&D. &D. Pretty sure the game... Ruug was inspired by D&D. Oh. Oh, that's a really long road right there. Holy moly. And then a mill. Hello, ADTR! Welcome and welcome in. I'm having a great day. Uh... Peace Square. Greasy gutter, temple, backstage alley. Oh, there's the castle. We can't go that far. We can't go that far. That's a really big town chat. Well, I guess we're gonna stop at the mill. Jordy, grind the grain, make some bread. I think we might grind the grain to get that zero up. Bread trivia! Oh my goodness. Bread trivia chat. Sound great under the grinding wheel is music to your ears. I think sometimes crushing things can be a good thing. Gain a destruction and a gold. Care the conversation of farmers bringing bags of wheat. You heard about uh, Hoblin gathering their troops. Hope they find a diplomatic solution. Yeah, me too, since our general's dead. Uh, dead afraid of going to war anyway. General Biscatorius is scared about having to fight. Biscatorius! That, that's quite the name. Maybe you could find some evidence to confirm the rumor. We're gonna do it again. Sourdough making the lady holes applaud. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Jordy knows everything there's to know about bread. What about you? Um... I don't know about our bard, but... Oh, our bard loves bread. 16! Answers all your questions and you answer his, it's a draw. Got two knowledge. You step outside of the middle, you hear two travelers talking. Wonder what uh, Gabby's up to these days. It's been a while since the last time she wrote something. It's a shame, her stories were the best, but I guess she has too much on her plate anyway. Maybe Gabby the High Cleric needs help, you can meet her at the temple. Mmm... We have more important things to do, I, I feel, but... Hmm... So that's at a four now. I'm gonna do it again. Heck yeah! Big rolls, chat, oh my goodness! Alright, and... turn. square greasy gutter arena theater castle oh I see enter today is the great marathon general Biscatorius leads his army of gladiators through the streets of Hortigard Quite a shot to witness, but you can also participate. Ah, uh, you decide to run the marathon. <laughs> oh my god! Thank goodness. Lifted by the cheering crowd, he managed to finish the race. Exhausted but hardened. I didn't think we were gonna make that shot. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Clean the dove coat. Take your shovel, your courage, and climb upstairs. Oh my goodness. Imagine you need to check just to watch the event. Oh my goodness. How would that even work? Hello, Dark. Welcome and welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. It's like, what are they doing with their feet? They're putting they're putting one foot in front of the other in a, in a speedy succession. Oh, what is that? What is that? What are they doing? 
They're they're running? Why are they running? Is there a monster? Oh my god, there's a monster. I better run to it. Uh. <laughs> Thank you so much for the lurk dark. I hope work goes well. Work at the archives. Uh, work at the mail. Wait. Okay, burn all the useless mail. You can't. You can't see it behind me. My brain can't keep up with this fast-paced event. <laughs> good pun. Good pun. Rolling for it's valid. D and D players can always mess up a social situation. So rolling for it's valid. True. 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 Um. For a second, I was like, wait, why is working at the mail service destruction? And then it below where you can't see it, it says burn all the useless mail. And we got strength there. The strength would be the play, because this m increases it by two. We're gonna talk to Pacey. Talk to Pacey in first. Let me move a little bit, chat. Move down here. That way you can at least see a little bit. That that person does not have pants on, chat. Grivial doesn't have pants on. They are not stream appropriate. They need to put on some pants. Good morning. Welcome to the castle. Can I help you? Number 346. Ask for the council. Which follow the quarter? It's the last door on the left. Uh Counselor Orti is available for public hearings. Pants are an illusion. Okay, wait, balance of terror. Yeah, be the high cleric, stop writing around entries of story. I don't think I have anything to get them. Leave, I guess? Or tea. Yeah, I help you? Be quick, the 33rd daily uh, deliberation is about to commence. Tell them about Colobra. Mm, so you come from the future. It's not unheard of. You have the register. You see, the mages of Lumensac have created a time protocol. They gave us a weird parrot statue that says unpredictable words every hour. Council member writes them all down in a register. Here's a copy, dated today. Uh, okay. Bring it back to me in the past. This will be a proof that you are from the future. Give you the help you need. Uh, okay. Tell about Colombra. And come back next week, okay. So I guess that's all we can do for there. Let's go clean the dove coat. We need to shovel the bird droppings out the dove coat before the castle crumbles on itself. Oop! Ooh, I think we just barely missed that one. The castle won't crumble today, but you will. Exhaustion didn't even work that much. Cause we're a bard. Nine? Oh, thank God, we got it this time. Gallons of the precious fertilizer are already heading toward the wheat fields. That's really weird to think about. I know, like, animal droppings, but I never thought about bird droppings. You worked so well, you're allowed to take a jar full of guano with you. Alright. Alright. Okay. This seek minus three. Oh, uh, right. Where did it say? She said it's at the temple, right? I don't know where the temple is. Is that the temple? Yeah, that's the temple. Backstage alley theater. Let's go here. Enter. Oh, I can't even do anything here. Uh, let's see, that's. Creation, it's knowledge, or creation. When you live near the farm fields, you can smell the bird manure they use to fertilize the fields. Terrible. Oh my goodness. I 
Those can't be that heavy, can they? Turn the reading. Browse the book of the tale. Oh, no! We need a seven. Do it again. Turning the pages is difficult as understanding the text. Oh, hey, we got a knowledge and a strength. Nice. Let's talk to Gabi really quick. Where the wrath of the gods do you enter their house? Ask about the writer's block. Me? A writer's block? Don't be foolish. I mean, I haven't actually written anything in a long time, but... It's been my days writing. I write the stories of the people in the tale. That counts as writing. Anyway, my own stories started to be rubbish. Maybe someone out there still has the gift of the gods, but I don't. Uh... Need to make a footnote reference to previous version of a myth someone augmented this week. Do you remember by chance the last version of the Song of Renart the Facetious was written? Try to remember? We're gonna try to remember chat. Oh, we remembered! You're kind of a tale nerd yourself. You give the right answer with a dash of pedantry. That's it, thank you. I didn't expect much from Baladin, but you appear to be trustworthy at- What? Screw you, Gabby. I hope you never get over your writer's block. It's a cautionary tale about love, difference, and workplace issues. The wisdom of old tales can always help you solve conflicts. I'm back. I'm back with B. Hmm. Marriage counseling. Leave. Turning pages is as difficult as understanding text, physique, and knowledge. Let's go. Oh, when looking at the book, you hear a whisper in the temple. By, uh, Ergerbor could die for these candies. Do you know who else likes them? Gabby! Hi, Cleric. She's crazy about them. She used to spend nights roasting them over the temple fireplace. I'd smell it from my window. That's sweet. Alright, so we need to find some sort of candy. Uh, da 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 da. It's square, maybe? I'll see you if you want to follow my Twitter, join my Discord, check out my YouTube or my throne. There are all my links in chat and the rest are on my card. Uh, hopefully you like the nickname I gave you? Nickname? It's quite late in the night when you stumble upon two people arguing. Call each other names and the tension's rising. Eventually come to blows nobody does anything. Uh... Calm them. Oh, fight though! Hello, Bloopa Blue! Welcome in, good to see you! This game is so cute. If you like Dungeons and Dragons, it's it's been really fun. Uh kinda wanna give them the, the bird poop, honestly. Uh fight or calm them down. I can't distract them. Calm them down. I guess. I guess I'll be responsible. It's two drunkards why they're fighting. Well, it's because... Because they... You know... They... Uh, hey. I don't know. What? You don't? I thought you would know. You started it. Did I? I thought it was you. Maybe. It goes on for a few minutes and they both realize they forgot what they were fighting about. They're pretty far away when they, when they fall into each other's arms. Gained a finesse. You know what? I really like you, Beladin. You're my friend. I'm just a sad, wasted, misunderstood writer. Tell me if you need anything. I need something. I need something. Oh, they're gone. Fortune teller and S Sebast. Feast, what show? Play coconut... Play coconut shy at the fair? What? <laughs> Smash things to release some steam. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Greasy gutter, I guess. Let's go here. Haven't been here yet. Hey! 
Hey, there's Patrice. Uh, eavesdrop at the tavern, explore the streets. Arm wrestle. Mm, then the arena. There's Biscatorius. Train with the gladiators, work on the fireworks. Pitch ideas for the show. Uh, okay. Enter. What do we need to do, chat? We need to help Cabby, I guess? We need to talk to Biscatorius. And something about marriage counseling and love doctor. Giving a royal jelly to Mungus. I guess let's go back to the arena? I don't- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I wish we could look at the places before we move to them. Talk to Biscatorius. Greetings, Baladin. Welcome to my awesome arena. Not the war. The what now? There's no war coming. <laughs> war, war. That really wouldn't be awesome. Okay, now I have a show to prepare for tomorrow. Never seen the general so upset. Where are we? You don't know the arena? Who are you? I, General Biscuitorius, lead the mighty armies of Gatharek. Since we train here in the arena, I thought it'd be awesome to invite people to lunch. It's very awesome. Every week we promote to a full house. An army. They'll come in handy against a dragon. You can convince Biscuitorius to help you. Time eating dragon? That's an awesome idea for a show. What? There's an actual dragon threatening our land. Nonsense, I don't believe you. In any case, I only have the right uh, to raise the army in the event of an open conflict with another country. It means war. If you have any evidence that a war is brewing, I can help you. But dragon's none of my business. Oh, Biscuitoris is female? She needs evidence there's a war coming? Perhaps the council will give you one. Okay. Lieb. We go to the council. Back to the council. We also haven't gone to the theater. Mm. Hello. What are you doing up here? You know, there's something. For some weeks now, mail's been disappearing. It always turns up a few weeks later. We were supposed to go, but I never sent it. So someone delivered the mail themselves. Neither this lunacy to stop. What? Oh. Please help me find who's been stealing the mail. Who are you? I'm Grievel, the Burn Master. I live here by myself at the top of the castle. Here I take care of my little friends. I send them all over Gatherack to maintain connections and peace. Gather news of the land to give the town criers. By the way, there's one of them that drives me crazy. He's a beast. He always tells terrible news and people seem to like it. Almost everything he tells is false. Lies. If you can make him stop, you can find him in Peace Square. Alright, so I need to go talk to the beast. My dove coat's got it enough, but it itches through the window. Oh, okay. He just threw our, our very sweet uh, bird-smelling present out the window. Okay. Okay. I held on to that for you, Reveal. Can't believe it. 
You see Luton with a huge bag of mail walking down the road. Hi there. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Who are you? Oh, my name is Ragnon. One day, I'll be a carrier pigeon. For now, I'm practicing. Why don't you carry your Luton? But I always carry the mail where it needs to be. Ask for the mail. Well, the 14. You explain the people are waiting for their mail. The walking is way slower than actually flying. Oh, you're right, I suppose. I didn't really think it through. Here, have the mail. It's better if actual birds do the job. Find another way to achieve my dream. Alright. So I need to go give this back to the guy. Ah, <sighs> arm wrestle. No! Oh, wait. Okay, we just barely did it. They found their master. You actually win all rounds. Till fizzy, kakya. But you're massaging your arm. You're too drunk to talking at the next table. Saw Patrice the other day. Poor soul. Yeah, such a shame. They're so talented. They're drinking? Not writing. They always wanted to be a writer, but life happened, I guess. Oh, Patrice. Patrice. Well, if it isn't a baladin, I love those people. They're my friends. Right for the temple. You want me to write the story? You want me to write? It would be my pleasure. Let's go to the temple. Patrice staggers and sits down on the pavement. Tomorrow, my friend. Tomorrow. And enter. Oopsie. Sorry about that shot. <laughs> so we need to go to the temple and we need to go to the castle today. My life is so busy now, chat, what the heck? Faithful Paladin. Griffin, do you like the nickname I gave for you? I don't know what you're talking about, Whoopi. Gonna help. Yes, I met a Luton named Patrice. They claim to be a writer. But say you've impressed me, Baladin. I now trust your judgment. Hope we'll make trust in Patrice. It's gonna be difficult for me, but I'll lay down the pen for now. Thanks for your help, Baladin. Alright. Hey there, how you doing? Me, I'm doing great. Writing this giant book is a blessing in itself. And I get to write my own stories too. Never thank you enough for what you did for me. Maybe I'll write the story of the Baladins in the tale. You're true heroes indeed. Oh, by the way, Gabby left this. I have mine, so I thought you might want it. Quill cool the Cleric, let's go. No, I'll need time to write. I don't want to be bothered, but be assured that I'll always remember the day we met. Instead of grit, I changed to grit. Oh, a lot of people call me that. Let me go give this. Give the mail to Grivel. And there we go. So let's go to the castle. Go to Grievel. Hey, you're back? What do you need? Not the mail. Oh, wait. It's Regnon. What the Luton who applied to become a carrier pigeon? They can't even fly! Stealing mail is a felony. Let's see if Zaza can find them. When the birdmaster opened a cage containing a creature, a cockatree. Half chicken, half snake, a very dangerous beast. I think it might not be a good idea to release it into the city. The cockatree flies out the window. I didn't get to give him the mail. Boop. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, So we found another bag of mail. These letters, are, these are the same letters. Is this some kind of trick? Get out of my dove coat! Where master looks really upset. Uh. Well then. Let's see. We can do strength. Let's do this one. This is our lowest one. Destroying the old letter is a brazier. In a brazier is satisfying. Gain. Oh, we got a gold. Let's go to the theater, maybe? And then we need to go to the, um... Peace... Square. Hmm. Last week, chat! Wow. 
last week for us. Let's go see. Bless the beast. You meet Kamali the tailor, covered with pigeon droppings. I hate this city. Can we take a dozen steps without being soiled? Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna... Maybe? Try to convince Kamali that these droppings make a killer look. I don't know what this means, so... Okay, 11. You rolled an 11 plus 9 finesse. Oh no, we're gonna fail the second one! Oh, by one shot! We needed a 9! Are you kidding? I'm sure I like bathing in a pigsty every day, but I have manners and a sense of hygiene. Don't you dare make fun of fashion in front of me again. That had to hurt. You are- Oh! Oh, I hate it, chat! So much! Beast, watch the shot. Oh, I can't believe our creation just died. Large crowd gathers around the base of town crier. Hear ye, hear ye. The most unsettling news has reached my ears. The crowd shivers with excitement. Rumors of war have come from the frontier. Listen. Thousand spears from Hobland are gathered in the mountains. Bring war to Gatherak, along with famine and rains. The old magical tree in the city of Ruize blossoms no more when the uh, Metagots pray. Chatter is spreading among the crowd. Hmm. Pass. Ooh, passive effect. Can I throw the bird poop at him? You throw random junk at the town crier. Maybe you hope the crowd will follow, but the people of Fort Guard love their town crier. Dang it. Dang it. When will I get to throw poop at someone? Why does it still say I have to talk to him? Griffin, please. <laughs> listen, listen. The game gave me pigeon poop. But it keeps saying that... It keeps giving it back to me. Oh, what do we do now, chat? I'm... We do... What do we do? Arena. Let's go to the arena. We're about to die. We're about to go back in time again. Convince her idea her to work on your idea by implying it's awesome. Come on, you can't live in fear of whales. Sea is miles away. I don't live in fear, I just don't feel comfortable thinking about those monsters. So please don't remind me of their existence. Oh, you're like Sebaste. You tell bad news in hopes they won't happen. It's the opposite of what I do. But he does that? Yeah, it's not the guy is scared. Uh anything bad could really happen and makes up bad news so it won't happen for real. It's twisted, so he tells false news then? Oh my god, fake nose chat! When in doubt, drinking contest? True, 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 true. Do you remember when Sebastian used to tell good news? Oh, yes. And Regnan was so fond of him at the time. We don't see that much now when Sebastian's doing his little show. Something about. Something must have upset Regnan and changed our mind about Sebastian. Surely something worth investigating next time you meet Regnan. Dang it! Okay, so we need to find Rignon next time. Ha! Ah, time to meet the dragon again. Oh, you again. Will you fulfill your destiny and feed the mighty Colobra? Surrender all your belongings to me. It will be my pleasure to devour all of them. Colobra eats items and ring them. They get more and more satiated. The age indicates their fullness. I guess all it takes uh, to end this is to feed them all we can. Oh, no, I needed that. Okay, it seems that we're inside Colobra's mouth right now. Why are we in Colobra's mouth? It's filled with all the items we got during the loop. Apparently, Colobra's granting us to keep one item each to bring back to the next time loop. Okay, select your item choice, carried and unselected if you change your mind. But of course, if you take an item, its value will be deduced from Colobra's gauge. If you don't want to keep any items, just select an empty space. Also keep in mind that an item is linked to the ballot and who picked it up, they're the one that will have it for the next loop. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, we gotta keep the register chat. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Clothes written many epic tales, but there's one it will never write. The story of the humble donkard who became a respected writer. Make sure this story is not a fairy tale. It's not enough. Keep finding things to feed me. I'll have to quench my hunger. I need. Oh, I need time again. For now. I cry, chat. No Patrice. There will always be more bird poop. But the Patrice. Bad quest ending explored, one of 19. Good quest ending explored, one of 18. Heard a whole bunch of rumors, met a whole bunch of... There's 80 characters in this game, oh my god. Give me two items. Do not buy a single item for a whole time loop. Do not consume any items for an entire time loop. Finish a time loop with 10 or more finesse without a bonus. Uh, 10 or more knowledge without a bonus, okay. Continue. Yeah, and then they have this. So they have that. Oh, we can change the city now! So we'll start in Hortigard. So hopefully we don't need to run all the way there this time and waste a whole turn. Good run! Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go again. Try to seek help with the Great Council in Hortigard. Oh no, wait! Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to go here first, I think. Wait, let's look at our quest log. Okay, we need to go to Ordi and give the, give them that. So let's go do that. Most important thing. Enter the castle. In a dark alley, you catch the theater director spying on someone around the corner. Oh, didn't see, didn't see thou there, Baladin. Currently working on a plan to undermine General Biscatorius. Would thou help me plan the firecracker near her? This will give her a good scare and show the world what a coward she is. Listen, I have zero destruction. Might warn the general, perhaps? Oh yes, don't worry, I spotted Holobrius from the end of the street. It's the third time this week you tried to prank me. Still, you're awesome, Baladin. Come meet me at the arena when you have time. Here, for your trouble. <gasps> Five gold! You feel good for helping... Uh, for having helped a local figure. Oh, I know creation. Heck yeah. We picked right shot. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I feel kind of bad that every time we get our stats up, they go back down at the end of every run. <laughs> May I help you? Be quick. The 33rd daily deliberation is about to commence. the war. War, oh by the gods, no, no! It's only a rumor, nothing's been seen on the border with Hoblin for decades. We had reports this morning of the peace tree in Rose, it's still blooming. Flower of the peace tree is always proof that there's no war coming. Don't go fabricating your fake evidence, like a flag or a shield from Hoblin. We don't want people to panic. Okay. Why are we trying to fabricate false evidence of a war? Oh, wait, to get uh, Biscatorius to help us with the dragon. I see, I see. You come from the future. It's not on Horde of. Do you have the register? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Give the register. Shamalo, Van Vido, or Bramide. And the next one must be Safraquay. Safraquay? By the god, you do come from the future. Hello, Brew. Welcome and welcome and good to see you. Here, have some stickers for you and your fellow time travelers. <laughs> the paladins now have the time traveler stickers. Hello, Rusty. Good to see you as well. Hope you're having a good day. We recognize this coming in the future by people knowing about the protocol. About your dragon problem, there might be solutions. You should ask Onorata, the matriarch of the spell hold in Lumensack. Maybe you could try with the high judge from Merkazon. She'll find a solution in the future. By the past, see you earlier, time traveler. Hello, hello! Hope you're having a good day! Oh, that was something, chat. Um, alright. We got... We got, uh, time travel stickers. Alright. I'm gonna figure out how to get out of town. What is this? We're moving down here. Day going well. Three day weekend? Heck yeah! Let's go to Merkazon. 
Go see Honorata at the Spellhole Luminsac, north of Hortigard. Or Cecil the Judge at the Tribunal of Mercazon, south of Hortigard. Okay. We have the time travel stickers. But they're not in our inventory. Okay. We literally can't move, so this is awful. Just wasting 30 whole action points right there. Caravanner's camp. Hello, Tilo! Hello, hello! The places just keep getting bigger, chat. I don't have enough move space for all of this. Port, market, tribu tribunal. We need to go to the tribunal. Get a skull chat. Cecil. Sort files, write minutes. Why is that for destruction? Learn the law? We don't we don't need to learn the law. We are the law. <laughs> Silence, I have work to do. Colobra. By Gruid, you were the time traveler sticker. I'm afraid that the law is powerless against the time eating dragon. Can help you, but maybe. We're working on the case of the lady who claims she's met all the beasts in the world. Go find Pelagi the adventurer. She remains in the port. She has experienced all sorts of monsters. She might be able to help. Where are we? You're in the salt storehouse of Mercazon, also known as the Tribunal. I'm Cecil, and the gods chose me to be the judge. My job is to deliver justice. I deal with commercial disputes most of the time, sometimes with co more complicated cases. Is that all you wanted to know? Yes. Thank you. I need to go find Pelagi at the port. Which I believe is one stop away? Yes. The port is one stop away. First, we're gonna go back in here. And we're going to... We need to keep at least one AP. Try to learn the law? We need a nine. No, I said we need a nine! We need a nine. Ah, oh, we got a ten, okay. Two knowledge, okay. Good enough. What are the port? Speak to Pelagi. Ahoy! What you need, landlubber? Colobra. Time eating dragon, huh? Never heard of it. Sounds nasty. I'll tell you something there's no dragon in the world who can survive the dragon slayer. It's a weapon of my design. I can build one for you. All I need is to bring me some wood, good rope, and a pointy stone. Really? You ain't no adventurer then. You might find the wood in the forest, pointy stones, try looking underground. For the rope, but maybe a tailor could help you. Um. Me, on board, you can call me Captain. On land, I'm merely Pelagi. Like, I don't mind if you call me by my title. I spend my life sailing the seas of the world, and I think I've met all the animals, creatures, monsters, and people you can imagine. Okay. Well, I don't have any of that, so... End turn. We need a rope, we need a wood, and we need a rock. Jousting field. Ogre's village. Duper? Duper. Soap factory. What the heck? Caravanner's camp. Market. Let's go to the market chat. A young Madago lady approaches with a weird object in her hands. She doesn't speak your language, but she hands you the object. A few gestures later, you understand it's a magic device to make pictures of the world. She wants you to make pictures of her. Um, eight and eleven. We can maybe do that. Hello, Sir Myers. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Quickly figure out how the thing works. She strikes poses in front of landscapes and buildings, and you feel inspired. You find creative angles, capture the best light. When she sees the pictures of her, the Madago smiles. Thank you. You're proud of your work, and you made someone happy. Two creation. Let's go. 
Browse items. Taste spices. Guess the weight of animals. Mm. Hello, Otan. Come, have a look, but be quick. I won't be, on, be around forever. Put it that way. You see, Pallas, the guy from Castilla, twiddling his thumbs in the port, paid him for a baby, Bygorn. Those creatures are so cute when they're still kittens, but he took ages to come back from his country. Now the Bygorn's all grown up. And I say grown up, I mean really grown up. It's a real monster now. I can't deal with that. I'm no circus. No offense, but maybe you could? You see this lady tourist in the port and ask her to repay me. You can buy the beast yourself. Good luck with that. Fine. 50! They want 50 money for it, chat. What the heck? Madigal in... Pe pepper chid. Pe pepper chid. Ask info. Sell the best salt in the world. Harvest locally in the salt marsh. I'll sell the most relaxing and produce in the... Madigal's monastery, Rosé. I also have an exotic pepper kid. This one makes you sneeze so hard you can tear down a tree. Have a look. Uh, okay, chat. We're obviously gonna buy the really expensive thing. Be careful with this one. Okay. What did I get? Destruction plus 10! Jesus! That's a really big shot. That's crazy. But now, we're not gonna run into anything that needs destruction. Sapuri Dornen et Sipolo? Ah, you don't want to be Castilian. Maybe come back when you do. We can try to make yourself understood by a palace. Oh, leave. Okay, well. Go back here, I guess. Tribunal. Read book, read book. Read book. Raise stat. Read book, raise stat. And turn. Read book, raise stat. Okay, now let's go talk to Palace again. I have a 12! I only needed a 6. You're making progress, but you think this language needs more? Hands? Use your hands? Oh no. Give your hands more less confidence? Pal seems to set me. Thanks for making fun of him. <sighs> All right. Want to make a small tour of the region? Only two gold coins. I can't. Oh, it's too bad. Another time? Okay. We're broke. Niccolo. Oh, he's just a little guy, chap. He fits in a helmet. Enter. I think this uh, run is a bust chat.
Hey, old Baldin. Oh, good worker. What are you looking for? Problem? Becca, thank you so much for the 15th stream last streak. Welcome in, welcome in. On the contrary, we finished our annual soap production. Produced enough soap for the entire country until next year. Now we're on vacation. At least we want to be. But Domargu doesn't want to stop working. He says he still has lavender to sell. We don't want any. You can talk to him, maybe, and try to find a solution. Find him in his villa on the other side of the river. Welcome to Thupshad. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Seems to be giving you Paper Mario vibes. Oh, I guess we can do something here since we can't move much. So... Debate with the workers. You have such knowledge of the history of the working class that you impress everyone. The soap makers tell stories and you learn even more. Mainly because of the, the flat people. Oh, I see, I see. Let's increase our destruction. Increase our destruction. Physical therapy and got a new expensive transformer that's unofficial. Whoa. Ambulance bought first day. Let's go. Didn't even know that there were unofficial ones. You, come here. What do you think of this painting? I found this drawing book and I was wondering if it had any worth. Quite easy for you to demonstrate the beauty of the drawings. Thanks for your knowledge in art. You even think of a possible theory about drawing books. Hi, I can see. Uh, oh. Uh, it, it was something value. It means it costs a lot of money. Thanks, Baladin. We could be friends if I wasn't a prince and you, you know. Last week, chat. Go back up here really quick. Gonna try to make it to Loot Loot Lootville, whatever that place is called. Then they go for combiners mostly. Oh, I see, I see. We go up here, chat. Run, run, run! Lumen sack. Now we have Lumen sack unlocked. Ah, Baladins again. So mean you found things to feed me. Ah. Leave no item stuck below breath at the end of a time loop. Let's go. Oh, uh, let's see. Mainly go for combiners mostly. This first aid is cool. His combiner parts are built into the figure like the Brutica set by the same company. I also have the train robots by a different company called Moon Studio, but that set has sharp pieces. Oh, I see. I don't know what this bar at the bottom is, but... Pizza. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Gri. I have no idea what that bar is for. Continue. Experience, maybe. We're gonna start in Lumen Sack this time. For level C, but I don't know what the level would do because there's not really levels in this game. There's stats. But the stats you level up each run. So I'm not sure. Cause we'll figure it out whenever it uh fills up. Here we go again. If you didn't uh didn't go yet, you can meet Onorada and ask her help. She's the head mage of the spellhold of Lumensack, north of Fortigard. If you don't find a way to get rid of this dragon, try at least to find good items to feed it. Good luck, my dear paladins. Okay. Maybe you can keep two items after a level up? That would be nice. Hello, Gumbas. Welcome, welcome in. Are they paladins that play basketball? No. Hmm. 
I don't know, Griff, you always introduced me to games I never would have known about. Hello, what's this game? This is Baladins. It's, uh... Closest thing I can say is like a D&D &D game. It's very fun. Been having a lot of fun with it. That's Lumazak. Right, so I I guess that's where we go. Zoom and sack. Druid's cabin. Oh, spell hold. No, we need to go to the spell hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enter the spell hold. Encounter Luton running from something. Quick, Baladin, help me. Fishes from Nornos are chasing me. No time to explain. Help me hide. Soon might be a criminal. Choose wisely. Do we help it hide, chat? Do we help it hide from the fishermen? First one, yes or no? Hides for cowards and cowards have to die. Okay, so decline. You blasted Baladin. I'll spend the rest of my life doing community work because of you. Feel guilty for not helping Miss Luton. But how could you know that they were, uh, they were not a dangerous criminal? You'll never know, at least in this timeline. Oh, you lost the knowledge! <gasps> no! Oh. Alright. Onorata. Merciful gods, why did you have to bring a ballad into my home? I think we chose poorly. Yeah, it's all in RNG. He was playing with fire, how can it not be suspicious? Exactly. <laughs> Talk about the time loop. Explain the situation to Onorata. I see you wear the time traveler stickers. Time loops are no laughing matter. There's literature about them. She disappears for a moment through the door and comes back with arms full of books. She starts browsing. Let me see. Ha, ah, right here. Yes, clever. Craft talisman with an object full of will to persevere in its own state, or a symbol of potential future. Bring me one of those things, and I'll see what I can do. What? One of what? <laughs> one of what? <laughs> Excuse me? You need to bring an ingredient grounded in the present. I don't even know what that means. The symbol of stillness, weight, or potential future. Bring me one of those things, I'll see what I can do. I have no idea what that means. Some more mobile than me might be helpful. You see, I'm quite busy at the moment. I have to visit the farm. Kate who lives there, she has potential, great potential. I'd like her to come to the spell hold so I can teach her magic, but she keeps on refusing. Maybe you could be more convincing. Yeah, so the sticker's stuck with you through the time loop. Yeah, thankfully. Thankfully. It'd be annoying to constantly have to pick that for people to um, realize that, that we're time travelers or otherwise ha keep having to redo the um, book thing. Gus plays at the farm to become Onorata's student. Enter the most sacred haven of knowledge, the great spellbound of Luminac. Found up a man sister, 17 Nodal. It's the most fortified place in Gatherak. Here you can find the greatest library in the world where we write down all the magical and scientific discoveries we make. Okay. Strength and destruction, yes. Class, you catch a conversation between two students. I saw... Oh god, what is that name? Quinog the other day? Guess what he lost? Dunno. His damn anchor! Oh, excuse you. Like, from his boat? Aye, he doesn't know where it is. Must have lost it on the beach. While at seaweed, a moment ago, couldn't find her eggs. Heard it's full of treasure there. Oh, okay. Around the corner, you hear two students talking. Still playing the flute. Aye, but it sounds horrible. Ask Sophaline. I heard she's quite skillful with the instruments to join the Baladins. Sophaline? Onorata's daughter? She became a Baladin? Ouch. The old ogress must be furious. She is. But I get the kid. I don't think her mother has taken much care of her. She's so busy. Hmm. Well, let's end another class. Alright. Oh! Go to the farm now. We need to go to the farm. That's not the farm. That's not the farm. There's the farm, so we'll go right here. 
Always want to try to use all of our AP and MP every turn. Waste nothing. Enter the farm. There's please. Work at the farm, milk the cow. Teach the kid. Halt! Did the ghost send you? Never mind, I've been on edge these days. That's your education. This crazy ogre sent you to abduct me. I'll let you have it easy. I already told her already. I'd like to come, but I can't leave. My mama and I have been harassed by filthy ghosts for weeks now. They sometimes come at night, surround the house, and dance all over the roof. They want to take my mama, so I protect her. I don't think uh, leaving to learn magic will help me with that. If you can do something, I'd appreciate it. I live in the abandoned tower on the other side of the bridge to the west. They don't really live there. They're ghosts. Farm, if only you had your bag of bird poop, if only! Oh, shoot. Okay, well... Oh, okay, chat. We need to go to the tower... This tower? I assume? I, I would assume ghosts haunt. Yep, ghosts haunt. Oh, look at him! He's so dapper! He's just doing his his tap dance lessons. Excuse you, little missy. <gasps> Look at that one. Step into the abandoned tower only to face ghosts. You're already shaking with fear. Um. Hmm. Okay, we need to go back to the library. Back here. To the library. Oh! I found this closed jar and... I'm pretty sure my friend Locke's trapped inside. Told me they wanted to switch vessels and... Yeah, that must be them. But I can't open it! Open the lid. Oh, that- oh my gosh, that was so lucky. <laughs> Just barely got it. Thank you, Mega, for that, Dre. Thank, thank you. Comes off quite easily. Contained an empty jar. <gasps> as soon as the jar's open, a ghastly shape rises from within. Thank you. And the ghost disappeared. Well, it, it wasn't my friend locked. Of we never speak about what happened. We never found any sealed jar, right? You and the Luton split with terror in your heart. Take the jar back to the farm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you should find info about ghosts at the library of Spellhold. Study at the library? Oh no, we only have one knowledge chat. <laughs> We need to, okay, I was about to say we needed 10. You read, Ghosts are spirits of people who died brutally. They remain tethered to the living world by an unfinished task. Salt is a strong balance for ghosts. Banish them from our world by enclosing them in a circle of salt. That might come in handy. Oh, okay. I wanted, I wanted to see if I could just appease the ghosts instead of brutally murdering them again, but... Oh, heck. And turn. Fuck the Dubak. Wow, Baladin, so cool. Yeah, I'm in trouble. One of the gargoyles of Spellhold's gone missing. One Rada hasn't noticed yet, but it's a matter of time. Please find the gargoyle. I looked everywhere in the Spellhold, and I'm sure she's not here. Dubak the janitor, it's quite a, quite a job to clean a magic school. Boss is always on my back, but I mean, I like what I do. Alright. Oh, thank god. Two knowledge, oh my gosh. Between the shelves, you gain your two students whispering. By Texia, this is a good crepe. Thank you, I made the butter myself with a secret ingredient. Uh, Mercazon salt. It's not a secret ingredient, if you tell it to everybody. 
Wait, did you say Mercazon salt? Yeah, it's the best salt. Come on, we live by the sea and you buy salt from the other side of the country? That's what it takes to make the best crepes. Okay. So... More knowledge? Maybe now we can learn Castilian? Okay, thank god. My progress, but you still feel you have a lot to learn. Okay. Now let's go... Uh, mer 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 Where would be a... I think a shop would be here, maybe? I'll have to find that out next turn. Oh my gosh, there's so much chat. <laughs> there's so much. So much I'm discovering. Stranger and a baladin, nonetheless. Help? Do I look like I need help? Kinda. I like those stupid Lumen Sakians always complaining. Ning played alright, but they stole they stole the spell hold from us. It was built by us, Mars and Homs. There's plenty of evidence at the spell hold's library, but they're hiding it. Why am I talking about this already? Home of the righteous, honest, and strong fishers. Here we live by the sea, for the sea, and it ain't easy every day. Nothing like those cowards from Lumen Sack. She doesn't have any salt chat. Pick up seaweed. 17! Oh my god! It's almost a perfect roll. What's this? Treasure? How can an object that big have been hiding there? God anchor. Everyone spent all their money on steroids. Listen. Look for info about the spell hold at the library. Okay. Can come in handy. Physique plus three. Finesse plus three. Ooh, passive plus two for the anchor. Destruction plus three, creation, knowledge, all good things. Let's go back here. Greetings, stranger. We are Atan and Jonas. As you may hear, we've come from far, far away to distinguish ourselves on a noble quest. We'd like to find pr uh, princesses in distress and rescue and wed. Doesn't seem your land even has princesses, so just looking for a noble quest. Which one, chat? <laughs> They're both good. Which one? Which one? <laughs> Which one, chat? Your princess? Alright. I'm a princess. Twins look at each other in, sh in shock. You're a real princess? We didn't expect that. Our sword is yours and we'll protect you with our life. And our most sacred oath. They're quite intense. You eventually manage to get rid of them, but you feel you'll see them again. You're the princess. Free bodyguards. Go. <laughs> that was interesting. Find an old construction plans to spill hold in the archives, and for short analysis, you understand the architect and workers who built the castle were from Lumensack. Truth well hidden indeed. Some people would be interested to learn that information. We're gonna go argue with that old lady about who built this place. Now, what did I need to come in here for? There was another reason. There was another reason. Hmm. 
Let's go, let's go argue with that lady again, chat. I'm gonna go argue with this random lady we met, at, met in the street for like two seconds. Felt the spell hold. Truth is, did you find the truth? Did you find out Morzinus uh, built the thing? Tell the truth! <laughs> You share your discovery with Sozig, and a bunch of, of locals gather around you. So you're telling us who's actually built by? No, it's impossible. More, uh, the Mordazos circle you, grab you, and put you in a barrel. <laughs> the barrel's thrown in the sea, and you wash it a few days later on the shores of Gatherak. <laughs> Hello, Willia. Welcome and welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Kids these days. <laughs> we got thrown into a barrel, chat. You're no longer welcome there. It didn't end the feud. Uh, goodbye, Seraphs. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, thank you for that, Bats. Uh, okay, we don't have any salt, chat. Bad ending acquired. Let's go to Lumen Sack. We haven't gone there yet. We also haven't gone over there in the corner. Enter. Hey, Gargoyle! We're looking for him. Follow the track of screaming and running people to find a feral Gargoyle. The beast is wreaking havoc in the sheep's lumen sack. Uh... Lure him with food? Make a show for the Gargoyle. Food. Remember they like stones, but good stones like marble and granite. Hopefully they know where to find them. Yeah, the most delicious stones in the city and pile them out forever from the beast. Soon the gargoyle comes down and the roof tries to grab uh down the roof and tries to grab a rock or two. Seize the opportunity and shove the gargoyle in your bag. Don't worry, it'll stop kicking your back eventually. You obtain a gargoyle. We can sell cheese! Oh my gosh. Convince people that this cheese is edible despite the smell. Very interesting. This game's artwork looks cute. Yes, it's so cute. I like it so much. Now their des their destiny lies in your hands. Oh my goodness. <gasps> we make cheese, chat. We make cheese. Let's, I need, um... Creation? And zoom. You help Claude to make cheese in his cellar. Build a 15. So after precision and patience and you're up to the task. Soon a complete ecosystem mold will cover the cream and you'll be uh you'll be the reason for it. What if returning the gargoyle is a bad ending? Oh I don't know. Why are we making cheese in a cellar? For, yeah, there's four different endings for the gargoyle quest. We can't return him anyway. That we only have one movement, so he he can live in our backpack for one one more turn. Let's see. Both of those are pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's talk to Claude. Hello there. Welcome to Lumen Sack, the most beautiful city in the world. Where else would you make cheese? But where the wine is made too. True. I just thought it was a little weird that we were doing it in Claude's basement. Oh, we can buy cheese? Do this, so what'd you find? You share a discovery with Claude and a bunch of locals gathered around you. True then, we built the spell hole. Crowd cheer, soon the news spreads over the city and a great banquet is thrown in your honor. They give you the town key for your good service. <gasps> we got a key. I don't know, I don't know why we need that, but we got a key, chat. We got both endings! Heck yeah. There's so many endings on these. This one only has one though, but th this one has four. There are four different ways to deal with the ghost, chat. I kind of want wanted to ask Claude if I could buy his cheese. Even though we don't have any money. So let's go back over here. We're gonna return the gargoyle. Romance the ghosts? I don't think I can. 
see a strange tree on the side of the road. I feel compelled to take a nap under its shade. It'd be nice to have some rest after all. Why is that an 18? That's crazy. That's a really big check. So, what's up? Plus four. Physique plus two. Passive plus two. Passive plus two. Someone else? Oh, okay. Hi, Bunny. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Grim. No, you. <laughs> Hi, Bunny. How are you doing? Do we take a nap or do we keep walking, chat? I think we maybe we take a nap this time. To lie down in a nest of grass under the tree. As soon as you close your eyes, you fall into a deep slumber. You wake up a few hours later. Maybe a few days later. That was how long you slept. It's precious time, but at least you're fully rested. Game of physique. This game looks neat. It is so neat. Uh, if you like D&D, &D, it, it gives very big D&D &D vibes. No! Our AP is gone! Oh no. We messed up, chat. Oh, this is the last- We can't return the gargoyle! <laughs> we can't return the gargoyle, chat. Okay, well... Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Fully rested our butt. Yep. Dang it. Okay. Oh. Hello, Rage. Welcome and welcome in. Oh, we're having a good day. Griffin tried, tried the Lilix syrup in my coffee and it was super tasty. Oh my gosh. I wish I could try some. It looks so pretty. Uh oh. Just take all my items. Give me back my gargoyle. My gargoyle. Oh, but the anchor! Void worm? No, it's a it's a time-eating dragon. Oh chat, do we save the anchor or the gargoyle? Can come in hand. Oh no. I think we saved the gargoyle chat. Key, I wonder what it can open. It smells like truth. I don't know what that key would open. I hope I didn't weigh myself down too much with this meal. Uh Alright. Alright. Oh yes, if anyone wants to follow my Twitter, or my Discord, check out my YouTube or my throne, they're all my links to chat and the rest are on my card. Oh. Spend an entire time loop in the same region. Spend at least 25 AP during a single time loop. 25 or more MP during a single time loop. Did, wait, chat, did this bar get lower? I feel like the bar was like up here before. Now it's down here? Interesting. Oh, it got shorter. Okay. Back to Lumenzak. It's like a level up bar for something. I don't know what for though. Here we go again. Uh, try at least find good items to feed it. Blah 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 on him. Oh, hey, you encounter a loot and running from something. Quick, Baladin, help me. Oh, okay. It's him again, chat. Okay. Bring me to my friends under the spell hold quick. And Luton jumps into your bag. You obtained a pot potent. There are Lutons living under the spell hold. It'd be a good idea to investigate. All right. I'm doing it right this time, chat. Kashwa. I'm gonna go talk to Kashwa. Who are you? Who led you here? I give you Pot. Poten! Where were you? We've been so worried. Thank you for bringing our last friend back. We were desperate. Very good deed. You are one of us now. Oh, okay. Need help? Of course we need help. We've been crying for help for years now. We light fires every night on the beach to draw attention, but no one will hear us. See this cave? It's right under the spell hold in the sea. It keeps eroding the rock. It's a matter of weeks now before it collapses in the spell hold with it. Oh. Hello, Chella. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. The people of Lumensack and Mornos won't listen to us. Now they say we're criminals. Maybe, maybe you could put your skills to good use. 
got to find a way to raise awareness of the people. We need help to avoid a disaster. Hmm. Well, all right then, chat. Proud to say that my undergraduate career is over. Let's go! Congratulations! Okay, let's see. Let's see, chat. Oh... Her? Yeah, him, him. Takes your self-awareness. Let's go. Finally done. Congratulations. Also, welcome in Orvi. Good to see you. Gargoyle, awesome. Family's starting to worry. She was gone for a long time. She belongs here. Thank you, Bod, and you saved my life. I owe you one. You can ask me anything, uh, if I can help. No words would explain, dang. Oh. Gorgo's back in the spell hole. Dubak goes you one. Mm. No, Dubak can't help us with the rocks. Gonna go chill, uh, chill a bit. Alright, chill. Thank you so much, Lurk. I appreciate it. Talk about... Sophaline? She my institution join your band of buffoons. How could you be of any help? Will you bring her back to me? I doubt it. Now leave me. I have books that require my attention. Hmm. Well, I tried talking to people there and no one there will listen, so... Uh, okay. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Got some water today. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hello, Jose. Welcome and welcome in. Early Mocha Fox stream today. Yeah, I usually stream a little early on Fridays. It's just strength. And then let's move to what's well, a tough one shot. Let's move down here. And then go right here. Have you ever played D D? Yes, I played D D. Uh I was gonna say every week, but Every week, whenever everyone is is free. Last week, I broke into Area Fifty One, and I stole their books and orbs. Yep. Okay, we need to go to the market. Oh, out of movement. Area Fifty One. Yep. Uh, my character is a mimic. Her name is Mimira, or Mimi for short. Uh, there's like this... Uh, it's like a, they're high schoolers during the day, but when they're asleep, they wake up in this uh, fantasy world kind of thing. So fantasy me is a mimic that really likes to eat everything. And real world me is a bookstore owner. But I've learned how to use my transformations in the real world. And so I turned into a shrub and a lizard to get into Area 51 and steal the books and orbs for our mage. So yeah. Everyone was very upset that they could not join me in Area 51. It was a very, very sneaky mission. Well, that sounds really cool. Yeah, I, I drew a picture of it. I, I drew a picture for it. I'll show you. Because I took a, a picture uh, whenever I was stealing the books and orbs. Like a little selfie. And I was going to send it to one of the group members. Oh. I drew that for, for session last week. 
I sent you my orb, please respond! <laughs> That's me as a little lizard. S snuck into Area 51. But yeah, it's always a silly time in D&D. Our group is very crazy. Okay, let's see, let's see. So... Oh, right, 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 we need to, we need to buy salt. Salt. Okay, uh... Get that one, I guess? Seems like a fun time I just got into my first D&D campaign. Good job! I hope you've been enjoying it! What did you decide to play as? Let's see, so... That's the way to the animals. Oh, hey, we got money! Spices. Let's do this again. Heck yeah, big finesse chat. And turn. And we go all the way back up here. We used Aurora with the uh, plugin, so I'm currently a half elf spiritualist. Oh, I've never heard of that before. Oh no, wait, 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 wait! Oh man. Ah! We don't get to use any of our AP this turn, because I was silly! Stumble pump trees, the local drunkard sitting on the side of the road. They're contemplating a collection of mugs full of ale. Would you care to play, Baladin? It's called Beer Palm, and it only requires a bit of dexterity and a coin. Oh, okay. Oh, hey! Match throw a wooden ball in your opponent's mug every time you try. Of course you're not as strong as they are, but still remarkable. Uh, it's not so much fun when you lose so much. Take your money and get lost. Dang it, chat. The first campaign almost died three times. Oh my goodness. Sounds so crazy. Oh no, wait, we go to the tower. Ghosts. We're still on the ground to draw a circle on the ghost, the way you learn in the book. The moment you close the circle, a shiver runs down your spine. My shirt from another world shakes the entire tower. The ghosts are gone. Was it the right thing to do? It wasn't the right thing to do at all. At all, at all, at all. I feel so bad. I think it's a custom class from Aurora. It's a bit broken, uh, but my DM nerfed it a bit. Oh, I see, I see. Mm, throw rocks at the windows. <laughs> Break stuff, nobody's looking. We're gonna need to get a 10 for that one, though. Oh, we got it, okay. I feel really bad for the ghosts. Wait, where is it? Oh, you got rid of the ghosts, okay. Throw all the rocks, okay. Alright. Now we go over here. To the farm. Enter the farm, talk to Blaze. Halt, did the ghost send you? Never mind, we've been on edge these days. Got rid of the ghosts. Those filthy ghosts are more dead. Have to worry about any more about Mama? Which I do then. Go with the mages. That's kind of the plan. I just jumped to try to the spell hold, even if it means leaving Mama alone. Guess it means I can go now. Mama, away, see you there. Kid disappears in the farmhouse, pack her things, say goodbye. Should go check on her when she gets to her new home. Alright, child, let's go. And. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back here, and then end turn. Go here. Oh wait, I found this closed jar. I'm pretty sure my friend locked trapped inside. Oh no. Not this again. Oh, another 17! 
I think we rolled a 17 for the jar last time, too. I don't think we ever went to visit the ghosts after that we got that one. Hmm. Paladin again. Who's here looking for? Oh yes, Blaze is here and already started practicing. Thank you for bringing her to me, I appreciate it. The world would be a better place with a mage like her. Here, she told me to give you this. Oh, we got a staff! Yeah. Hidden ending. Ooh. We got a jar. Okay. Uh Should I get the library maybe? Oh no. There we go. Need to get our knowledge up. I probably should have read that. Somebody must have hit it there. You obtained a dragon heat? What is a dragon heat? Forbidden love, a burning passion. Let's hope no one sees you with that book. Oh no. Oh no. So we have destruction minus two right now. I want to go back to the old tower really quick. Enter. Last week, chat. Gotta make a count. Just enter the tower really quick. Is it it? Found a door hidden behind rubble and spider webs. Finesse knowledge minus one action point? No. Uh. We can ram it. You run through the door. You run through the room and throw yourself at the door. You wake up a few minutes later. When a rat walks over your face, your move's perfect. There must be some kind of magic protecting it. Head hurts. Try to open it. Knock. There's a key! It's the stupid Lumen Sack key! Dang it! Dang it. We can't open it because the key! We lost the key, chat. There's the gargoyle again. I'm gonna buy some cheese, about the spell, hold, the truth. Thank you. Okay, now we leave, we go open the door. Oh, thank you for the headbats. You. Oh, hey, it's those people again. The gargoyle. If people are in danger, we'll protect them with our lives, and twins run to their destiny. We're not the princess in this story, chat. Step into the tower. Boo. <laughs> Use the town key. It fits perfectly. Turns you here, click. The wood squeaks and the door opens. You step into a small room without windows. In the darkness, you find a treasure. <gasps> Bat Lord helmet. Oh, we're keeping that shot. We're keeping that one. We are so keeping that one. We get an extra movement point. Oh my goodness. the paladin. Wait, why does she remember? You deserve to be shoved into a barrel and thrown in the sea. Get oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. How do they remember?
Oh uh oh. I wonder what happens when that bar fills up. We're keeping that. I wanted to ask, have you baked anything recently? Mm, I don't think so, no. I think the last thing I baked was that uh, really bad roll cake from a few weeks ago. My poor messy roll cake. Knowledge plus two is pretty good. But the finesse plus two and the movement? The movement's really good. The movement kills us sometimes. Oh, okay. Another rewind shot. Oh no, we got another bad ending. Bad quest ending chat. It went up to two now. Oh no. It was probably the ghosts. Back to Lumen Sack chat. Let's see if we can get that anchor and help, uh... Why does it always push me all the way over there? We have five movement knobs, huh? Heck yeah. So we need to get the anchor and return it. Oh, hey! And we need to try to convince these people that the spell hold is going to crumble. Oh, a fairy, a rare sign indeed, even the magical land of Luminsack. Uh, hello? Hum, make a wish. Give a gold coin. And, uh, your wish will come true. I think. Make a wish. Toss a coin to your fairy. Oh, fairy of plenty. <laughs> Thanks, bye. And the fairy disappears between the bushes. Do you have the time to make a wish? <gasps> okay. Just took my money. Took my money. Strength. No, we needed a 10. Do it again. Okay, there we go. Come a long way from trying to shove a mushroom cork in the hole to stop the dragon? We have. We really have. We just got scammed out of a gold by a fairy that said uh, they'd, they'd grant a wish. Oh. You found a handful of beautiful algae. Wait, but what about the anchor? I guess these mean that I have completed them, all of the things, on them. Do it again. Where's the anchor? Darn it. No anchor? Okay, well that sucks. But now you think you can come here and tell such foolishness? Spell has always been there, always will be. Do you need fish? Hmm. Action potion. Movement potion. All except destruction. About the spell hold, the truth is. Never mind. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna tell her. Try to warn Lumen Sack, okay. Let's see if we can go warn- Oh wait, we can't warn, warn them this turn, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have the, the stuff. Uh, don't trust the fire casting creature, bad end. Trust a not fairy promising wishes for coins, also bad end, apparently, yeah. Let's go here. Use up all our movement, and there we go. 
I want to save them. We also need to go to that ta that house all the way over here. We still haven't. And that. Felt a spell hold. It's crumbling. We got the key again. Let's grab the gargoyle. Right with food. We got the gargoyle. All right. I wonder what the other three endings are for the gargoyle. Go talk to Kashwa at the. Sp oh, okay. So that's all we have to do now. Go talk to Kashwa at the spell hold. Uh, for now, though, we're gonna go right here. Oh, they came early. The tower. Tower's haunted by ghosts. Oh. No one here. Okay. Study the men here's. Meditate. Uh. Weed the stones. Yeah, that we have zero in that, so that's gonna be really hard to do. Sent the twins to fight the ghosts. Go check the old tower. All right. Mm. Let's go over here. Let's go to the druid's cabin. Oh, we can cut some wood and get destruction. Okay. Talk to Vinton. New face with the new person behind it. Hi, hi, hi. Who are you? I'm the moss in the forest. The feather of the raven. The wind in the hair. They call me Vinton. They say I'm a druid. They come looking for medicines and remedies. Fools, the forest is no place to heal. It's a place to be born again. I need a potion? What beverage is, uh, what beverage are you looking for? Special potion? Uh, common potion? No. Special, why? <gasps> we found a use for the bird poop chat. Luck. Speed. Is a stalactite. Efficiency is loaf and bread. All right, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Cut some wood. And then go back this way and end turn. Go check how they're doing at the tower. You see so Zig the fisher feet in the river water, uh, water up to their waist? Come here, help me. This cursed spell has been lying at the bottom of the river since the last war against Hobland. It keeps ringing every hour, no one knows why, and scares the fish, so I'm getting rid of it once and for all. Lift the bell. Get your hands and feet wet and lift the bell from the depths. Oh, to be young and strong. Thank you for the hand, Paladin. Not bad after all. Fish will come back to this part of the river and I'll catch them. You can keep the bell, but be careful. It still rings every day. Got a magic bell, chat. Oh... Finesse plus two? Still not better than this. You have a lot of passive stuff, chat. Holy moly. Okay, we need to go to the... To there. The spell hold. Enter. Talk to Kashwa. Who are you? Who led you here? We warned them. Of course we're doomed. We tried to warn them for months now, but it didn't work. We need to find a solution to bring them here so they can see for themselves. Maybe yes, you're about it and you can make a show. Go make a show in both cities. Don't mention the actual problem. They won't be interested. Make a show about treasure under the spell hold. I'm sure if it's good enough, people will believe it. At least they'll want to know if it's true. Counting on your talents. Oh, thank you for the lyric, Corby. Thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, 
she didn't want the the gargoyle. Okay. Well, did my best. Oh, I guess. Let's use up our action points here. Also, thank you for the hydrate, my god. Thank you, thank you. There we go. To knowledge. Sorry, tomorrow I have to go to the druid. I still can't get to sleep at night. Seamus' house is so dang remote. Well, it takes a full day to go there. You should stay with him then. I hear he's looking for a disciple. Lone owl, a disciple? Yeah, it must be lonely up there. Oh, okay. Uh, 